What's up everybody, Zavrin here, and today we're taking a look at 60 parsecs. Again, just like 60 seconds, I played this on the PS4 a long time ago. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to jump in and play it on the PC. I've never played it on the channel before. Also, this has been uh, developed and published by Robot Gentleman. So let's go ahead, jump in and see how it goes. So we are gonna pick, let's go with Emmett. Let's go with Emmett. Alert, nuclear apocalypse is Emmett. Executing orders 1961. New protocol initiated. Commence Astro Citizen emergency drill and brace for nuclear impact. And just like everything else, it's, I remember this map being lar larger than the other one. Yeah, there's, what is his name? Baby, right? Yeah, this place I remember being way bigger than the other house. The controls are always a lot smoother though. The Cosmos, all right here. We'll just grab that. Drop it into the shuttle. Medical supplies. Oops, come on. I'll find the handbook. I think it was over here in the kitchen, right? drop this off in the shuttle crafting resources there's some let's take two handfuls so much stuff all over the place in this place such a mess such a mess I can't take those all right find a crewmate we're going to take, we're definitely going to grab him. And we can grab him now since he's the heaviest. Alert. Okay. We'll start grabbing stuff now. goes too fast nope come on Emmett get off the goddamn wall come on drop it oh man all right we'll grab some more people you can come with me come on We're not gonna have time. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. Come on. Give me my fucking soup. Come on, open the door. Escape shuttle sealed within 60 seconds. Alert. Incoming missile detected. Risk of impact. Grab whatever you can. Come on, drop it, fucking shit. <laughs> drop it. Just drop it. Come on, give me my fucking soup. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nope, not enough room. Okay, what about this? Nope. Well, we need stuff. So we need that. Nope. Fuck. Okay. We're not going to have time. Yeah, it's not going to work. Might as well just. Let's go. There we go. We made it. Nice to meet you, ASTRO, computerized assistant reporting for duty. You must be Emmett, right? 
I'm pleased to announce that you have been randomly selected to become captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard the escape shuttle. Captain, on behalf of Astro Citizen Program, please accept our apologies for the tiny inconvenience of being blown 60 parsecs away from Earth. Current objective, find a safe place to land and then try to contact the outside world. Please power up the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rationing protocol and feed your crew. The command is yours, Captain. All right. Well, wait, what's this? Uh, okay, so what's the star do? Captain's goals. Make five successful intelligible or intelligence attribute uh, decisions and find an appropriate landing spot. Will do. Um, no, I didn't want to click away. Supplies. Soup's consumed. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Damn it. Okay, we can scroll down. Baby Bronco. Agility's average. He's dumb, but he's strong. Megan Man is clever. Okay, that seems like we might have a pretty good team here. Captain, all Astro Citizens missions begin with the commanding officer delivering a moral, a morale boosting speech. Don't let me stop you. The crew is eyeing you anxiously. It's time to show your true colors now. This is it. You can really show what breed of captain you will be with the incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? Well, we got to do an intelligence one, right? I mean, we got to make five of them. He's feeling resourceful. That's good. You knew exactly what to say. Your convincing speech was more than enough to prove your worth as a captain of the last human crew in the universe. That was quite the performance, Captain. Your crew started cheering even before you were finished with the speech. Long live the captain, filled the cabin. If any sound could travel through the soundless void outside of the hull of your ship, it would be, or that would be it. One thing is for sure, you are ready for any challenge this galaxy throws at you. Inspired by your smart leadership style, I allowed myself to power up the enzyme generator in the back of the shuttle. It will produce some useful chemicals for you daily. You seem alert, Captain. I commend the way that you've been taking care of your mental well-being. You should know that peak mental condition means increasing efficiency when it comes to performing tasks. Baby reported being glad to have you as his captain. All right, well, that's good to know. So is that this here? No. This? Expeditions restricted. I don't know what he's talking about in the back of the cabin making us stuff every day. I don't know. I should have found a, a gun though, huh? Captain, it is important to keep you and your screw well fed. One portion of delicious canned soup is enough to sustain a human for a few days. Whatever you took from the space station will have to last you for a while. Don't forget to keep good inventory of your stock unless you want to eat your own crewmates. Haha, <laughs> that was a joke. Please appreciate it and laugh. Thank you for your cooperation, Captain. Who will perform this routine supply check? The only requirement is simple mathematics. I realize I might be asking a lot, but I have a good feeling about this crew, Captain. So wait, I guess we do? Or do we let her do it? She's clever. Flexible. Let's let her do it. Let's give her a task. Nobody needs to eat right now. Loyal. Yeah. We'll let her do it. Good news, Captain. The shuttle came pre-stocked with an emergency food supply. Use it well. We got three cans of food. The daily routine supply check is now complete and it does not compute. An error was made. That was what I get for trusting humans to do the math. Some of the supplies went missing and the current number of soups on board is nine. The food you collected is more than sufficient for now. Just don't eat it all at once, despite the outcome. I think Megan deserves a shot at being your payload officer. If you keep her happy enough, she will produce some minerals for you daily as long as the morale is not too low and baby remains loyal. All right, so are you loyal now? Nope, you're the payload officer. Okay, and this is, oh, cool. So we can craft items, right? We can craft a lighter and duct tape, I guess. Well, how many do we have? We have 30? Let's craft tape. Let's just get shit crafting all the, immediately, right? Expeditions are still restricted because obviously we're out in space. It's not gonna help us any. Captain, the crafting module in the back of the ship is now available. You might remember from the Astro Citizen training, this wonderful machine lets you create something for almost no, from almost nothing. All you need is a little bit of minerals, chemicals, or power. 
use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies, as well as upgrade an item and shuttle systems. Okay, will do. That's it for today. That's it. That's literally it, huh? Nine soups, alert. Loyal. The ultimate answer to life, the universe, and everything is soup. It's actually 42, but that's uh that's something else. All right, I don't think we have anything else to worry about today, right? No, that's it. Hello, world. Goal achieved. Fix the subtle communication system. Goal updated. Goal achieved. Great success, Captain. The communicator attached to the communications console worked like a charm. I won't judge the aesthetics since we can finally receive and answer transmissions. Now all we need to do is wait for someone to contact us. Someone will find us eventually. You could tell Baby was amazed by what we achieved today. He almost smiled. There is hope, Captain. You're still injured. Baby keeps asking for soup. Yeah. Wait for contact. Okay. Um. I don't want to craft a communicator. Fuck, dude. I don't want to get rid of anything either, though. All right. Anyways. I am a machine. And machines cannot hear voices. The voices that I'm not hearing right now are getting very loud, though. Oh, you hear them too? My weight sensors are picking up something as well. Two-dimensional species. <laughs> that explains why my cameras missed them. With one decisive yell, the voices are approaching fast. The air inside the door looks very empty, yet very hostile all of a sudden. How will you defend us, Captain? Uh... Let's use, uh, let's use a lighter. Fuck it, it's upgraded. We're gonna starve to death right now. <laughs> Not quite, but almost. The heat module reset factory default that is running on its tropical setting, Captain's suggestion. Why don't we make the lighter a heater module backup system? It worked today. It will again. Your stomach remains empty. Eat something before it's too late. Wait for, for more information from Sheila. Make five, ex uh, yeah, five successful attribute tests. Our water recycler is overheating. The overheating itself isn't the problem. The system has safeguards. The problem is we store our minerals under the water recycler. I'm worried that the mineral the minerals there, even leftover traces, could melt and boil if exposed to too much heat. That would be hazardous. A manual reset could work. It will be tough. Do you want to try it? Yeah, absolutely we do. We got no Literally, we have nothing to lose right now. We're gonna die. Day 29. 40 fucking minerals, holy shit. Okay, that's done. We can't do this. I need, fuck. It'll take a day, huh? Somebody's gonna die. So we might as well try to make it work, right? We're fit. Seeing as humans are slaves to emotions, I do understand why Sheila came back to get your advice on her romantic quest. Is there a way to make a different robot love her unconditionally, or is it possible for her to get rid of the defective feelings module altogether? Now is the time to reconnect with your human base or your basic human instincts. Do what you feel is the best approach. Okay, resolving Sheila's situation. I mean, sure, that's fine. This is the end. Yep, that's it. The end. I knew he was gonna go. And the soup should have been, I would have been able to do soup today. I waited just a hair too long. You perished, cause of death, starvation. The story ends here. Together with Sheila, you decided that the best defense is a good offense. You promised to help her cause a similar glitch in Dumbo's programming. 
Perhaps this will allow him to reciprocate, reciprocate Sheila's feelings. I have to say, Captain, this isn't the most ethical decision, especially considering that this society already has matchmaking rules in place. You might want to start looking around for spare tools and parts. I'm sure Sheila is going to need a few things to complete her procedure. I don't, you don't look well, sir. You're still ill. You're still hungry. Da 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 da. Yep, I, I knew that was coming. Gather some tools for the procedure. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that was fun, as always. Always fun. Always fun. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is, we're going to go ahead and end this one. This has been 60 Parsecs. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Let me know if you guys want to see more of it. And yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, you guys have yourselves a great day.